Francina McCrory is a native of Hampton, Virginia, and attended Bethel High School, where she set numerous VHSL indoor and outdoor track and field records, as well as the national high school indoor record in the 400-meter dash. The Daily Press would name her its high school athlete of the decade for her success on the track. Recruited by many large universities, McCrory elected to stay home and run for the Hampton University Pirates. There, she won three NCAA championships in the 400-meter dash and was named an All-American all four years she competed. After graduating from Hampton, McCrory began to compete at the international level where she found much success, winning a total of nine medals in major competitions, seven gold, one silver, and one bronze. McCrory was a member of the gold medal winning 4x400 meter relay teams at the 2011 and 2013 World Championships and earned a silver medal in the event in 2015. In 2014, McCrory brought home team and individual gold at the World Indoor Championships. A two-time Olympian for USA Track and Field, McCrory was a member of the gold medal winning 4x400 meter relay teams in 2012 and 2016. McCrory has previously been inducted into the Virginia High School League Hall of Fame, the Lower Virginia Peninsula Athletic Hall of Fame, and Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference Hall of Fame. Good evening. Um, first, I'd like to thank Will, because I think he and I became real good friends over the last two months dealing with Francine McCoy. Um, Francine is probably the busiest person in America, and I, and I say that literally. But right now, she's earlier today, she received the honorary doctoral degree uh, from a university in Dallas, Texas. So she's in Dallas, Texas, picking up that honor. <laughs> and so they sent the other, my other half of the family is in Texas, and they sent little old me to come here to speak a little bit. But, but Francine is a special athlete. Everybody knows all her accolades. Um, she totally like dominated track and field. Um, the, the time that she was running, she's probably one of the fastest people I've ever seen. Um, the most important thing about it is she accomplished all of her success in track and field. High school, college, and a professional athlete. And she never left the city of Hampton. And people don't really realize that because most professional athletes in track, they go to warmer weather places, they go to California, they go to Florida but she didn't want to go anywhere. When she left high school, she didn't want to go anywhere. She stayed home, came to Hampton with me. When she became a professional athlete, she stayed there, I coached her as a professional athlete. So she accomplished a whole lot. She worked extremely hard. She wasn't the most dedicated person to the sport, um, but she dominated track and field. Um, she's an ambassador now for USA Track and Field. She gets all kinds of awards, but she's just extremely, extremely, extremely busy now. She's moved to a, the Atlanta area. Um, so I'm always stepping in to, to support her and step in for her. But I'm, I'm excited that I coached her. I coached a lot of Olympians on the last past Olympic teams. But she's special because not only is she my athlete, but she's also considered a god daughter of mine. So some people might, she might call me dad and they might get confused. Um, she, she's not my real child, but I take it. Um, but anyway, I appreciate this. This is a great honor. I know she will appreciate it when I get it back to her um, and all the hard work that went on behind the scenes. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.